guys, it is Monday. Another week, another time to get yourself off the couch and take a break off of the Netflix and get your body moving, okay? So again, workouts right now are pretty low key. They're easy. You could probably do them anywhere in your house as long as you have a clear space, okay? Or you can even go outside and do it in your backyard, go to a park, an open field, whatever you want to do, okay? Now, I do say if you want to go outside and do it, make sure you bring like some mosquito spray or whatever to keep yourself from getting bit by the lovely bugs that are starting to come out, okay? We're going to go ahead and start off today's workout by doing a close squat with a leg extension, okay? So that means that instead of it being a wide squat, your legs are going to be together, you're going to squat down, and then you're going to extend your leg back, okay? So in doing that, you are going to be using your quads, hamstrings, calves, and then, of course, in order to help stabilize and protect your back, you're using your core, okay? Now, remember, if any of these exercises seem too difficult for you or you're just not understanding, make sure you go ahead and send us a message so that we know what we need to do and we can fix it or we can send you a breakdown video, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and turn to the side so you can see the squat and the back leg extension. So, feet together, squat down, and as you come up, extend, okay? You're also gonna feel it up in those glutes, okay? Because you're squeezing that lower half of the glute. Place your hands behind you, 
and then kind of squat down, bending those arms, okay? So, I'm going to walk my feet out, and then I'm going to dip. I'm going to drop my butt. And I'm keeping my eyes locked ahead so that my neck is staying aligned with my spine.
Then come up. Last exercise is going to be a sideline knee in extension. Okay? Your obliques, your rectus abdominis, your quads, your hamstrings, and your calves and glutes are going to be used in this exercise. So, we're going to go back to our right. Down on your elbow, okay? You can keep that bottom leg slightly bent if that is more comfortable for you. Now just make sure that you are aligned from the top up, okay? So you're going to bring your knee up and extend it out. Then come up and switch it over so you can do it on your left. Well, technically, it's your right leg. Left arm, right leg. Okay? So again, bring your knee up and extend. Keeping that foot flat. And then come up. So remember, you should be doing at least 10 to 15 reps for each of these exercises, okay? If you feel like you still can do some more, do another round. Okay, so like I said, it's going, it was going to be an easy peasy workout that you can go ahead and get done anywhere and at any point in your day, okay? So, you can do it as a break to get a break from your Netflix if you're just sitting at home and you haven't been able to go back to work yet or you are trying to keep quiet because the kids are sleeping or whatever. This is an easy workout that you can do and a quiet workout you can do unless you end up grunting a little bit through it, okay? Now, I want to stress that you can do this while pregnant, okay? I'm pregnant, very far along. Um, I'm going on 34 weeks. So, I did it, you can do it. Just take your time. Make sure you are keeping your breath fluid and calm. Do not go so crazy that you are stressing your body or your baby out. And that goes for everybody. You don't want to be stressed out while doing a workout. If it's stressing you out or it feels like it's painful, you need to pull back a little bit, okay? Take your time. Things come with progress. You are not ever gonna be perfect at something. There is always going to be some way to progress yourself in any kind of exercise, okay? Now, if you are looking to start training, we are still doing the virtual for the people that are wanting to kind of wait it out and see how everything goes with Texas opening up. Now, with that said, we are, if people are wanting the one-on-one -on -one and to come into the gym, we will be able to open our doors officially starting 
next week, I believe. Um, so, you can get a fitness assessment in the books with us so that we can go ahead and get you started. Now, if you're wanting to get started right now, we can start with the virtual and then move it to the one-on-one. -on -one. Now, with that also said, if you're coming into the gym, I want everyone to know that we are taking all the precautions that we need to for ourselves, but we're also taking the precautions for you. So, we are making sure all the equipment is staying sanitized. We are keep making sure that we are not in contact with anybody that has been sick or that has had COVID, okay? Um, and we are also rescheduling if we feel sick, if we feel the slightest of anything, okay? And we are also going to be making sure that everything and anything that you could possibly be touching is sanitized and cleaned, okay? Now, if um, you are wanting to purchase this for a friend, family member, or just a close acquaintance, and you want to, you've heard about us, and you're like, oh, I've heard them talk about this. Let me go ahead and send them your, the info. You can go ahead and purchase them my gift card, or you can just go ahead and send, spread our name out there and send out our info to let them know that we are available. Okay, some gyms may not be opening up quite as fast, but we have kept ours closed down and we are keeping it sanitized for this reason exactly so that we can go ahead and open up to one client per. We're not doing the group sessions right now just because the fact of there is still the possibility of everything going on. So we want to keep it as limited as possible. All right. Now, if you're looking for a prenatal, postnatal, or you're just wanting a very low key to get into the fitness journey of it all, go ahead and sign up with me. Um, there will be some things I can and can't show you. There will be, and if that is the case, I will have my husband come and demonstrate or give you a video to watch as to what I'm trying to get you to do. Now, if you are wanting a higher impact, okay, you are wanting to sit there and build muscle and all of that, and or you have experience at working out or weightlifting or whatnot, and you just need a change up in your routine, go ahead and set up a session with my husband so that he can go ahead and get you, tweak out little things that you could change or make you better in some way, all right? I hope you guys have a great day and we are going to see you all later.